up? We're okay. Hey! hey. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> We're uh, security clearance. Oh, this is Eric Roth. Woo! Uh, you had him behind me? All right, so, what's the uh, highest security place you've ever been? School in White House? Yeah. School. Yeah. School, yeah. White House, and jail. <laughs> How high security was your school? Who said school? Yeah. Who said school? All right. Who said school? All right, never mind. All right, it's cool. <laughs> we all heard it, right? Yeah, come on. <laughs> cool. Uh, who said the White House? Oh my God. Back there. I, I can't see you. Uh, what What did you have to do to get in? Uh, we had to send in uh, all of our identifying factors, our social security address, all that stuff, um, probably a few months beforehand. And so we were invited, uh, my team at work, because we're funded by a grant that Obama created, essentially. Yeah, Obama. Mm -hmm. So I said. And, um, <laughs> and so uh, it was, essentially, we just had to give in our information a few months beforehand. And then uh, we had to uh, get prepped about how intense it was going to be. So like the first day, it was just at the Department of Education in Washington, D.C., the first day meeting. And they're like, okay, we've got to prep you about what you're going to have to do. And it wasn't really that intense, but I imagine it was just a lot of doors, a lot of different doors that you had to go to. And then they gave you a special badge, and you couldn't leave with that badge. You had to, like, drop it in a box and destroy it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even take the badge home as I was no, slipping here? No, not take it home. In case you have to come back and use it on another day? I guess. Well, did you have to do that for jail? <laughs> do you have to go to jail? <laughs> I imagine that you had to go through a lot of doors to get into a jail. <laughs> <laughs> what was that hard? What was that hard? I'm say not that much security. It's, it's, the, it's the getting out part that would be Yeah, all right. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, wait, so, okay, so what about like, where have some of y'all been that have like unnecessarily high security? Airpools. <laughs> 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 Somebody's got fucking jokes over here. <laughs> now, were you the person that said school the first time? Is this the Pivola Club over here that you say it's school? <laughs> yeah. Alright, all right, drink up. Yeah. 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 Fucking Pivola's company over here. Airport. Yeah. airport. Yeah. Somebody said the airport. Yeah. Why do you think the airport's unnecessarily secure? Um, I got patted down and got my whole bag searched oh, for wow. not having my ID. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Y'all hear a funny airport story real quick? Alright, so my dad is kind of eccentric, right? We went to a wedding in New York City. That's a story. Yeah, she is. That's fine. We went to a wedding. That's his fiance. We went, yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, my, my dad is eccentric. As a family, we went to a wedding in New York City. We're going through security and we look over and my dad's getting patted down and they're searching through his bag, right? And finally, like, the TSA guy with some gloves is like, and he holds it up and it's a fucking sausage. <laughs> like a packet, they're called summer sausages. They're fucking gross. I don't know why he likes them. It's like, we're going to fucking New York. Like, we're gonna have fucking food. They're white packets. Right. So we spend a week for this fucking wedding, right? In New York City, we get back to go on the plane. And we turn around, and my dad is again being searched. And we turn, and the TSI guy goes, and he holds up the same fucking sauce. So like, no, we fucking brought it to New York, didn't eat it, and brought it back to Houston. Family secret. Right. It's a thing that's being handed down from generation to generation. Oh wow. Okay. Family sausage. <laughs> <laughs> that thing has brought me luck. Really? Yeah. What kind of luck? I you? met your mother. <laughs> this sausage and yeah. you met mom? Mm -hmm. Right now. 
Yeah. So I wanted to hand it down to you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, it looks pretty cool. Yep. What else did you need to Huh? What other times did it bring you luck? When I, uh, the time I met the president. What? <laughs> So, uh, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> you made the vice president for the day. Whoa! No, I don't, I don't, I don't be the vice president for a day with this sausage. Yeah, but no without it. We have notoriously small penises in this town. But with that sausage in your pocket, you can be anything you want. So. <laughs> man, I thought I would cut. Oh, man, Billy. My mom didn't pack me lunch today. Do you have anything you can share? <laughs> should I share it? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Or should I? No. <laughs> I was, I was <clears throat> stepping away for a, for a moment. Sorry, I have to take a call. Excuse me. What's you? you we're in kindergarten. <laughs> Should I share it? It means so much to my dad. But he's my best friend, and he forgot to bring lunch. But this is my family's lucky sausage. <laughs> what could go wrong? It's just a sausage. <laughs> Who's on the phone? It, it, was, it, uh, it was my dad. It was my ancestors. <laughs> Sausage. Oh my god, it's glowing. Yeah. <laughs> Does it taste as good as it looks? I don't know. Are you gonna let me eat it or are you just gonna let me look at it? <laughs> you have one bite. You have one bite. <laughs> hey son, have you been in trouble at school today? Yeah. I you gave somebody a bite of 200 euro sausage. Hi, uh, so this is jail. <laughs> uh, tough to get out of, but uh, not that tough to get into. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. You just breezed right through in here. Yeah. We don't often have people slide backwards to the cabbage chef like that. <laughs> when you've done a number of cabbage checks like I have, you just kind of know the routine. It's like you're on ice skate. So <laughs> uh, I invented that routine. I bet you know some other cool tricks. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> Hold on, Chris, let me make this let me make this wine in my toilet. <laughs> I just had to I just have to stir it once a week. Ah. <laughs> this is not toilet wine, it's a jail thing. You should know that. Unless you've been in jail so many times you have a better way to make wine than in a toilet. No, that's the best way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh it looks like you've been to jail too before. I've just been in this one. <laughs> so what'd you do? What I do, I uh, I was selling counterfeit wine. <laughs> yeah, I would have never guessed. As that. a matter of fact, I made toilet wine on the outside. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, there's a market for this. Fuck those French bastards in there. I'm gonna make some Texas toilet wine. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Le Corbusier. Uh, <laughs> most people can't pronounce it, but I'm glad you can. I've had that name on my mind for a while. <laughs> I don't appreciate the summons you all sent me. I wouldn't be in here making prison jail toilet wine. I'd be out on the outside with my nose. you right, you put my family out of business. <laughs> okay? I didn't, I didn't know people would love Texas toilet wine as much as they did. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? My family makes cheap French wine, and some people can't tell the difference. <laughs> so that's why I had to murder your whole family. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys. Sorry. Um, my nose, my shopping cart here from H-E-B. 
Um, I was at HEB and uh, didn't have any good wine, so I came to see if you only wine was ready. Yes. Wow, you, you walked a while with that cart. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, uh, Yeah, I, I can give it to you in a grocery bag. Perfect. <laughs> Tie it off at the top. Yeah. Oh, you do it for me. Yeah, just put $12 in my commissary on the way out. You sure you don't want any of my, my famous French wine that I, that I kept under my bunk? <laughs> you keep wine under your bunk? <laughs> Why not keep it in the toilet like a regular criminal? <laughs> I don't think you're in a place to judge me right now. <laughs> You're behind bars. Yeah. I'm not. We are literally in jail right now. You took you took a shopping cart all the way to Huntsman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how do how do you you get in past security with your full HEB shopping cart? That is a wild tale. Seriously. <laughs> 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 Okay, what was that for? <laughs> <laughs> I search every couple of hours. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. I appreciate that. Uh, table for two? Yeah, yeah right this way. Guys. Oh, please, after you. I'm going to walk around to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we sit on the same side here. <laughs> it's got a good view. Go back with some waters Thank and, you. Uh, you know, take your time. Do you have any specials? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> very, very open about Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. So. So when's the last time you were searched? <laughs> <laughs> sticking out of my mesh backpack, <laughs> and uh, yeah. And nobody searched you to make sure you didn't have anything? No, they, no, they did. They searched oh. me. I was walking down the hall, and there was like a little needle protractor sticking out of my... And, and, That's uh, dangerous. Well, yeah, they, they threw me to the ground and uh, very roughly searched my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> he literally he goes, get the fuck down! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> You've been getting searched every few hours for how, I, I how like, long? I like to get searched. <laughs> I don't always get what I want, but most of the time. You ever, you ever find anything you don't expect? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> like what? How did I get in there? What is it? It's, it's a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> I never keep chocolate in my pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Looks like we had some specials after all. Usually, like, I, I think I'm pretty funny, and when a joke doesn't land, I just, I put a gun to my mouth. Uh, <laughs> well, don't, don't do that. Don't kill yourself. Yeah. Just bring us all water that you promised. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I got to back later. I know, I don't, that was really weird. It was like, this 
specials, looking at the chocolate bar, and then we just pull it out of your pocket? <laughs> like, why would they serve a pre-wrapped chocolate bar? What about petting him? Right, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that is wild. I didn't expect to find a chocolate bar in your pocket at all. Especially since I just fed you a minute ago, right? <laughs> I, I, I promise, like, I swear somebody is like sneaking up behind me when I'm not looking and putting things in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know who it is. That sounds wild. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I'm pretty sure it's like Batman or something. <laughs> he doesn't like me. Batman doesn't like you? Um, um, How do you know? Told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's. What did, what did the note say? It said, hey, I don't like you. <laughs> Bad, Batman. Did he sign it, Batman? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> what is. I'm sorry for suggesting this restaurant. It was really good. Yeah, it kind of throwing me off my groove, man. Bad service kind of gets to me. I'm hey, Brian's phone. Brian's phone. <laughs> hey, Brian here. Hey, it's your buddy Ryan. Hey. You asked me to like keep an eye on your date from across the street. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really think you should search him again. I mean, okay, well, okay. Thanks. That's right. Okay. Right. I thought it was that guy across the street over there. <laughs> 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 Australia fat. 
Christ. <laughs> you signed up yesterday at 8 p.m. Calling to confirm that you're still Aussie. <laughs> You can take the Aussie out of Aussie, but you can't. Well, how does it go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not the car. Oh yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is important, right? You can take the Aussie out of Australia, but you can't take the Australia out of the Aussie. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you, you get the phrase. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Sure. Because I was, I once was in Melbourne, and now I'm in Houston. It's a bit of a long trip. <laughs> Listen, um, Marcelino, I think that um, you welcoming me to the States is the best thing that could have happened to you. I was raised by a pack of wild wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, it's okay, I'm just taking a trip to Houston. We don't, we don't want you to go to the States. They don't even have eucalyptus trees. <laughs> but Dad, this is my dream. I've got to break out of this mold. This, this, uh, this pack of wild koala family is just a bit stereotypical. <laughs> you never wanted to be a koala. <laughs> it's because I'm a fucking human. <laughs> I like Vegemite like a regular Australian. I like to put it on my toes. I like to wake up in the morning and watch the telly, which I don't think it's an Australian phrase. <laughs> yes, uh, no, no, that it is an Australian phrase. <laughs> I love you, but just remember, you, you can you can take the Aussie out of the Aussie. Um, fuck, yeah. what the hell is Yeah, I, I know that's fine. <laughs> so many confusing flesh pecs. Um, but you can't take the Aussie out of the Australian. Just go! <laughs> just go! Wow. That was intense. Yeah. I'm glad I stopped the car so you could tell me that story. But I feel I, like you were just as much as part of the story as anybody. <laughs> like my little guardian angel, Marcelino. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. My family is not so so great either. I had a tough morning trying to get out of the house, take on this road trip to Austin. What happened? Well, uh. My my dad, who is a uh, a black bear. Wow. Irony. I have 16 lines of toilet wine. 
We used to just have one. Red. <laughs> Toilet line. Red. Man, I have this giant corporation. Now we have like a Malbec Cabernet blend. <laughs> Lots of other ones too. Like Merlot. <laughs> you know, Grigio, Riesling. I, I like saying, you know, Grigio. You know, <laughs> Can I uh, have a bottle of Pinot you know, Grigio? Uh, I, have, I have it in here in the. I have it in a grocery bag. <laughs> I'm gonna tie it up. So. Ah! <laughs> oh, honey, where the fuck have you been? Babe, hey, hey, relax. I was, swear to God. I was buying you the finest wines I could find in this damn city of Huntsville. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I've been waiting here for like three hours. Okay, hand me that, that wine glass. Slide it over. <laughs> Zach? I said, did the best for you. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got like a like a pea smell to it. Pinot Grigio. 